A three-hour protest outside the Northeast Ohio Correction Center ended with these pictures today. Five men, faith leaders from the Akron-Canton area, taken into custody. They were arrested after protesting what they felt were, was unacceptable treatment inside the prison. Again, the five men were taken into custody and charged with misdemeanor trespassing. They'll have the option to post bond and get out of jail tonight. So what was the reason for the big rally? Well, it was to raise awareness about trying to provide ministry to the detainees from an ICE raid, and they were willing to go as far as needed to prove their point. You give to the poor, don't sound a trumpet before you. As the Five men, faith leaders, bowed on their knees outside the Northeast Ohio Correctional Center. They wanted to get inside and provide communion to people who have been detained after the ICE raids in Salem and other parts of Northeast Ohio. And our beef is simply that people have been denied of that on regards of their ethnicity, on regards of their status as U.S. citizens. The ministers want religious meetings, including some face-to-face -face ones and not behind glass. Two of the faith leaders are from Canton, two from Akron, one from Norton. That group includes Dustin White, who was born in Warren and grew up in Sebring. Any clergy would like to get in just in general, you have to become a certified volunteer of Core Civic, essentially a non-paid employee for a company that would... Coming, it's time. Okay, sorry, sorry, okay. thank you. And with that, Dustin went to Core Civic property and tried to get in. He was denied. Core Civic said any claims that detainees are not provided opportunities for religious activities and participation are completely false. The protesters were willing to spend three hours and try to convince you otherwise. The, the requirements to get in are a lot, are heightened and different from what, what it would be to get in somebody here for a criminal violation. It's all about dehumanizing these people. And as American taxpayers, I think it's, I don't want my money used for this. Well, as you saw, the five people got arrested. Both sides talked about it for a long time, trying to avoid it, but the clergy didn't get the answers they were hoping for from the prison. The five were taken into custody again, charged with misdemeanor trespassing.